On Saturday, Hawaii's leaders gathered at the newest section of the Cross Island Saddle Road, or should we say the highway formerly known as Saddle Road, to celebrate the opening of a nine-mile realigned portion of the Cross Island Thruway. It was a festive event. Sounds from legends of Hawaiian music, food, and plenty of dignitaries. Kahu Danny Akaka Jr. led the blessing of the new road, and the governor and the mayor were there to untie the Miley Lei. And after that, the unveiling of the new sign for the road's new name. There you go. That's got him. In honor of Senator Inoue's vision and dedication to the project, the 2013 Hawaii Legislature passed Senate Concurrent Resolution 43 to rename the 41-mile upgraded section of Hawaii Saddle Road to the Senator Daniel K. Inoue Highway. It would have been the Senator's 89th birthday on this same day. His surviving widow, Irene Hirano Inoue, was present for the event. I think the renaming of Saddle Road, the Daniel K. Inoue Highway today, is something that is very special and meaningful. And I can think of no better birthday present to have this part of the road opened and for this to be renamed after him. So I know that he is smiling down on all of us this morning. The late senator was an early advocate for the rebuilding of the Saddle Road. He convened a diverse group of Cross Island stakeholders as the Saddle Road Task Force. The Saddle Road Task Force is made up of a dedicated and diverse group of community members who continue to work as liaisons as the project moves toward completion. The Saddle Road Task Force played a huge role in seeing the project to this point. Some of the members said they were not expecting to live to see the dedication of this latest phase of work. Task Force member Walter Kunitake gave an interview that was provided to us by the State Department of Transportation. We're not only connecting East Hawaii and West Hawaii, but it, it, it's really a pleasure to be driving on this highway because the old road, you know, I was kind of feeling sorry for my car because it rattled and I was, my brand new car, I figured, well, pretty soon the screws are going to get loose pretty soon because of the rattling. But this highway is safe and the scenic view, I mean, take a look at all the scenic view and, uh, you know, you cut, cut time down and, you know, we'll cut more than a half an hour to 45 minutes on this highway with safe driving. The Saddle Road, as it once existed, was a notorious road that often made lists of the world's most dangerous highways, especially the west side, which was long overdue for big improvements. From milepost 42 to the Mamalahoa Highway, Route 190, the new segment marks 41 miles of highway built since the project began construction in 2004. To date, $290 million has been awarded for construction from federal, state, Department of Army, and other sources. The new stretch has a steep grade down to the Kona Side Highway, which enters the Mamalahoa Highway only three miles south of Waikoloa. But nothing can compare to the steps of the old west side segment. Gone are the twisty curves with limited sight distance or the one-lane bridge deficiencies that forced some cars to screech to a halt in order to yield to oncoming traffic, many times the location of a crash over the years. With the new road comes new scenery and new signs. Officials say you can now expect to shave 20 minutes off a cross-island trip. Elected officials had fun remembering their experiences with the old Saddle Road. Governor Neil Abercrombie flew in just for the event and shared some of his experiences. And I will tell you, I remember it to, the, to this day because my heart was in my throat the whole time. We went in the evening and uh, does the word fog uh, strike with anybody? Okay, I, I need not say more, right? Yeah, so I thought to myself, you can prove the highway all you want. Uh, when my, my idea was to go hide uh, somewhere on the side of the road. And of course, what the, what, who I was driving says, no, no, you have to keep going. You know, there's no stopping now. Uh, and, and the senator, remember he, uh, he said, Billy, this road was planned before you were born. <laughs> finish it while you're still mere. According to the Department of Transportation, the U.S. Department of the Army built the original one-lane saddle road in 1942 
to provide access to its military training facilities located in the saddle between Mauna Loa and Mauna Kea. In the decades since, some widening and paving was done, but no significant improvements were made, leaving many of the existing roadway deficiencies uncorrected. What began as a military access road has since become an important cross-island connection and also provides the only paved access to the Mauna Kea Science Reserve, Pohakaloa Training Area Base, and Mauna Kea State Park, as well as access to public lands and forest areas for hunting, gathering, and ranching. Construction funding for the Saddle Road project was made possible through the Department of the Army Defense Access Road and Ecosystem Management Programs, U.S. Congress, and the Hawaii Department of Transportation. The state says construction of the last remaining portion of Saddle Road project on the east side will be completed as funds become available. Uh, okay, this is not the end of the project. Uh, we've had uh, discussions that the, uh, the group that we meet on a regular basis, the Saddle Road Task Force and all the project management team and so on, uh, we all agree that even if the senator has passed, his spirit is with us. And we're going to complete this coast to coast until Queen Kahumano Highway from here down. And the intersection will be at the Waikaloa Beach Road. Uh, and so the endpoints are already secured. Uh, we have 5.5 miles of uh, road to complete on the east side to Hilo and uh, our energies are up and alive and we're going to get it done. And so the team is intact and we're just going to continue.